Ooh, ooh, me heart was sick. That shoulder out. Oh my God, it's not working. Oh, it worked. We here for a good time, not a long time. It says that it's made with mozzarella. Mozzarella. Sorry, y'all. Do I have degrees for real or no? Wednesday, Tuesday night, which was yesterday, I decided to go to Rock's house because he was like, I'm grilling. So I'm thinking, you know, we're just going to eat a little bit, eat some food, hang out. It was a whole kickback vibe. I mean, hookah drinks, all that. So I say all that to say that I did not get out of the bed and start my day to 12.30. Try to call myself coming to the gym to get a little cardio in because it was cardio day anyway. It wasn't like I had a real full workout. Um, but then I had forgot I had a call with a tax professional at three. So by the time I got to the gym, because y'all can tell I'm not at my regular gym, um, by the time I got here, it was 2.30. I literally had less than 30 minutes to do this cardio because I had to get ready for this call at three and I wasn't going to wait to 2.59, you know? So anyway, that's what's going on with me today. I'm in a shitty mood because once again, I make bad decisions and then I'm mad at everybody else when I'm the one that made a decision. I'm not saying I shouldn't have went out on a Tuesday, but you should have got up. I didn't even really do too much yesterday. Like I didn't just go full-fledged like hardcore in. I don't know what the hell why I slept so late. But anyway, now we're here. It is three o'clock. I haven't eaten, haven't done anything because I literally just started my day. Um, I need to run to Target to do stuff for my bathroom. What do I need? I don't know. Oh, I was gonna say I don't know, but my iPad is here. My iPad is here. So let's talk about the iPad real quick. This is, has nothing to do with anything, but I have this, um, I should say MacBook, sorry, the iPad Pro, which is the biggest iPad. And I don't know if y'all remember because I filmed the whole process getting this last year. I didn't want this iPad because I wanted it to be real portable. I needed to carry it with me and um, I needed to carry it with me for stuff like this. But the only iPads that were in stock at the AT&T store at the time was the iPad Pro. I wanted the little mini one or whatever. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. I have my iPad in front of me so I do know what was on the checkoff list. And I, need, I didn't write down the items that I needed. I'm such a... Never mind. I thought I wrote down items that I needed from Target. That sucks. I know I need, y'all know about that aftermarket like shower head for my shower. The, the nozzle came off. So the sticky pad for the little handle thing. It needs another sticky pad. I hope they sell those separately because yeah, it's not like I can go, I was going to say it's not like I can go order some Amazon, but I may be able to. What else did I need? I need some sponges for my face, some face pads. What else did I need? I feel like, oh, a shower curtain. 
because my shower curtain is moldy, baby. And the neon sign finally came, so I wanted to put that up. And that's literally what I got going on today, nothing. So why I feel so anxious because I woke up so late, I don't know. But that's literally all I was trying to do today, is get my bathroom together, put up this neon sign in my room, and uh, finish, basically we doing, not a bathroom reset, because I'm not buying new decorative items, but doing stuff to the bathroom me and then getting the room all the way together, because I told y'all the only thing I needed next was the freaking neon sign. And I haven't unboxed it or anything. I've had the neon sign for like two days, and I didn't even open it, because I wanted y'all to see it first. So, that's where we at with this. Soon, but not yet. Y'all, y'all was real OD trying to hurry up and <laughs> decorate for Christmas. I'm not over Halloween being gone. Like, I'm a Halloween person. All this is cute and all, but yeah and i think i'm gonna shop on amazon this year for a tree because last year it wasn't i didn't even think about it to get trees for um from amazon but i'm gonna do a little something i actually be liking little stuff like this but i guess because i got have those for this in the windows i need to actually get a tree and like do what i'm supposed to do it's no point in letting the windows go to waste okay y'all let me bore you with the stuff that i got if you would scream at him he would leave you alone he think he thinks she well he trying to get you to play with him Let me go y'all with the stuff I got from Target. I told y'all it wasn't, you know. Anyway, I got this for the neon sign. I hope it works. We about to unbox it. I needed a shower curtain liner because when I show y'all my curtain liner, don't be talking about me. And I know my mama gonna be watching it and talk about it, but we gonna talk about it. Y'all know how it be molding. I don't know how you prevent it. Or if you just supposed to get like new curtain liners every so often, because like I've got that curtain liner when I first moved in here, which in January would be a year. Um, then I got these exfoliating cotton rounds for like when I do my skincare. And then I got this uh, clear tape to try to fix the little shower thing. I'm going to show y'all all this. But this is all I got from Target. I didn't get to have fun because when you bring people of the opposite sex with you to Target, they are not, they not lit. So, yeah, I had to just get basically everything I needed and not even look at nothing else. If y'all, if you know, you know type thing. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm so excited to open this damn neon sign because it's been a long time coming. We've been talking about this neon sign literally since I moved in here. And that was in January. I didn't even, I don't know if I told y'all about renewing my lease or not. I'd be confused at what we'd be talking about. But I got my offer letter to renew my lease. And y'all probably want to see me when I look crazy. I got my offer letter to renew my lease. And why am I leaning on this sign like it ain't glass? Oh, my bad. I'm pretty sure I'm going to renew it because I'm not in a position to move. And I do like my apartment and I don't feel like I got enough time to enjoy it. That year went by quick. So I'm going to think I'm going to renew it for the 13 months because it's the same price as for the year. And don't know if I said this, but yeah, the rent went up. It's not fun. Um, I don't know, man. But whatever. It didn't go up as bad as I thought it was or like it could have. So I'm kind of going to work with it. And just have the mindset that we gotta make more money. Okay. I don't that's one thing I'm gonna say. People will be like saving money. I don't have a mindset of saving money. I have a mindset of we're just gonna have to make more. So instead of cutting back, make more money. <laughs> Cause I don't know, life is to enjoy. We here for a good time, not a long time. So you just just make more. What the fuck we skimping around for? Anyway. Let me try to open this light and not mess it up because i was just leaning all on the box like the light was not made out of glass and this is taking longer than i anticipated so i'm, I'm, I'm gonna get right with you okay are y'all ready for the big oh i'm doing the most y'all oh why did it take me so long to buy this oh my god i didn't even see yeah, I didn't see it. Oh, I only saw the white part. Oh. This is fragile. Oh, this, oh, ooh, 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 okay. Oh my God, let me unwrap this. Y'all, look how pretty this is. Uh, I, um, bought a dimmer for it. Look at him. He is not impressed. Not impressed. I bought a dimmer um, and I haven't like set it up yet because it needs to be 
like this part right here. What did it say? LED dimmer. So let me see what this is sitting on. But this is just the light plugged up. I love it so much. Why did this take so long? So this is the light. I got this remote. You can hit it's off. You turn it on with the remote. So let me see. This is, does it get brighter? Or is it the brightest? You know, it's hard to do anything with these nails. I don't think so. I think it, that's the brightest it gets. But it go down. Oh yeah, it's going down. Can y'all see? Can y'all tell? Ooh. Okay. So I wonder like, it's like, like lightly illuminated. If I turn it off, do it come back on like that? Or do you start from the bottom? Yeah, no, so I can set it at this setting and keep it like this. I kind of like it not being so bright. Oh, but then you don't even have to do that because it has like, you see the 10% 20. So I'm going to hit 100%. That's the brightest. 90%. Can't see shit. 80%. Oh, what was that? Wait, do it again. Y'all, I can't do shit because these nails. How did I do that? I don't know. Anyway, that's the, um, you can just hit the number. And they get lighter or darker. Sweet. This shit is little. Okay, can it go up some more? You don't feel like... Well, first of all, I know I'm going to put it over here. Yeah, with well, my extension. Oh, I'm going to have to unplug my... No, it's an extension cord, so it's multiple. Okay, I'm good. Um, so they gotta be plugged in to work. Yeah. Oh, it's not like portable. So that's why I'm gonna have to. This is all gonna fall behind the board, the the bed. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you gotta plug right there behind the bed. No, I'm a. But I'm saying I'm gonna put I'm this. Behind the bed. Yeah. So it's gonna be behind it. Um. Men are extra. He talking about some, come see the surprise. Yummy, you want to see the surprise, yo? Yo? Yeah, you been real lame this vlog. You ain't been turnt or nothing. I bet if I pull a treat out, you get turnt. Let's see the surprise, y'all. I'm coming. I can see the green illuminating for the door, from the door. Five, one. <laughs> Boy, move. Welcome to the British News. Oh, it is just so pretty. It looks better in person yeah. than doing this camera. So I guess I don't need my 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 um my lights on my TV now, huh? Nope. That do look really good. Dude. Yeah. Look at you on me looking around like, ooh, this is nice. <laughs> he was he was walking through like, ooh, yeah. Look, you you excited? Oh, wow, that's pretty bright too. Yes, that's how the brightest go to the. So if you hit those buttons, you can see the hundred percent. It go down ten percent. Oh, okay, let's see what ten. That's the lowest. I like it low. Oh, let's see what fifty do. Okay, good fifty. Let's see what eighty. Ninety. Hundred. I don't think it look no different. But it's just, I feel like you got it. You either gonna have it all the way high, or all the way down, and the other ones don't matter. What you think? Mm, I think it's a vibe though. Oh yeah, green light special. But if you don't get your ass, so yeah, I guess I don't need my little sh look, my LED strips on my TV because I wanted to put them back on there. But I can do the one in the living room, but there ain't no point. I don't care, my feelings ain't hurt, bitch Bitch, I got on white ones, Fendi on my shirt, bitch I match the gas too hard, I watch that skirt, bitch, jerk, bitch Hit it when I'm f***ing one, these hoes is on that jerk, shit Yeah, bitch, you should quit, you ain't better than a perk, bitch You ain't better than a plug, dropping off the work, bitch Bitch, you ain't even better than a 801 Catch you with that nigga, I might just put the pipe and spray the car Bitch, you think you be with bitch, I should eat it, but you broke us I'm gonna 
up on a hoe, get rich like ludicrous. This he folk been working smart, not hard on you, look stupid bitch. You know I fuck your friend, you fuck my dog, we both ain't new to this. Don't know why you press that like you stress and I be cool in it. You fucking with a mob, I'm she can prove she loyal, so I left her on the sidewalk. Made a sign out in the air, told Boo to drop a dime on. She just wanna lie my kids, I ain't drinking like they rap for Sada. Ain't thinking she gon' get paid, but bitch can't read my mind. You know, can't get these pesos. You that was the last time I can't pay where you let her. You choose for a life, shit. I really drink some K-Rock. Plus, I got a beat that's a Good morning, y'all. What's up? So, I had said something earlier about like the, um, the shower curtain. So y'all seen the mold. It was gross. We, we totally got a new shower curtain. Replaced it. Um, is there a way to prevent that? What do y'all do? I know my mama gonna be on here like, girl, look, do y'all clean them and keep them? If that is the case, I'm sorry. I'm not doing it. The shower curtain was literally $3. $3. And like I mentioned earlier, um, I probably should did it way before that because I've had it. It would be a year in January when I moved here. So it ain't been a year. But I mean, for $3, you literally could replace them every month. Hear me out if you wanted to because it's $3. Now I'm not. But probably shouldn't wait that long. Do y'all replace them? Do y'all wash them? Do y'all, when I say wash them, like do you just keep them clean like in between? Because maybe... I should do that so i'm not gonna lie i don't when i clean my bathroom like i don't spray the shower curtain liner with nothing and whatever i just you know leave it alone so do y'all spray them down and wipe them and maybe it won't get like that or it's inevitable you're just gonna have to replace them let me know y'all know i'm new to the grown-up crew the adult world crew speaking of i just ordered some cleaning stuff off amazon that'll be in another vlog because it's not gonna get here but i got some african net sponges which is you know for cleaning me um i got a spin brush like an electric spin brush and like a, a duster so this is really gross but y'all know my brother is like super duper clean right so we was talking about dusting and if i'm being completely 100 percent honest with y'all besides me like wiping down a surface like you know with a microfiber cloth and some cleaning stuff like some you know type of disinfectant or whatever i ain't never dusted before in my life it's gross when you think about it and my brother was like girl do you know what dust is he told me what dust was. I know. I'm pretty sure y'all know. It's nasty. And for me not to have ever dusted, like, y'all don't clean no baseboards. Don't do nothing. For instance, I'm just going to come over here and let y'all see. Can y'all see the dust on here? If not, I'm going to just wipe. And can you see? Y'all like, can y'all see that? Y'all, it's dust. I mean, I, I, I'm not tripping. Y'all probably like, y'all didn't see no dust. It's dust. It be dust. I don't dust. I'm going to come over here to my white one. Maybe y'all can see it better because it's white. Like, whatever. Look, this is so gross. Can Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Don't play with me. That is so gross. But I did. I'm doing better. I took steps to do better when I ordered the duster and stuff. So I'm about to go meet Tiff to pick up the merch so we can have a drop on Friday. Speaking of doing better, don't y'all know when y'all say, I'm going to get my life together. I'm going to do better. I'm going to do this. Let me show y'all what I done did. So here we have a box of built puffs. It's open, but I don't know why it's open. Y'all, I ordered these two weeks ago. Y'all know why they're pumpkin pie and they're puffs. Puffs are my favorite. They're the marshmallows in the middle and it's white chocolate pumpkin pie. Ordered these, got them two weeks ago. I have not had one. Don't let the little opening fool you. You can see it's not really like, I don't care what you, I don't care what you see. I'm not lying. I ain't got no reason to lie about this. Look, ordered these puffs, not having one. Have not ate one. They've been here for two weeks. When y'all know I had to throw away hella built bars, I was letting them go bad. So I did check the um the uh, you know the expiration date on these, and it do say uh, 10 17 23. So I don't know what built had going on, and they need to explain themselves. Cause why was I getting other puffs, and then they was only good for a couple of months, but these are good for a year, or not even puffs, other built bar stuff in general was only good for a couple of months. The ones in the closet. And now I don't bought these and they good for a year. But I am gonna eat these. Like, why haven't I had one? I kind of forgot about them. That's why I pulled them out. So I could remember to tell y'all and so I could have one later. Because why I be buying shit and don't be eating it? Just buy, why am I buying stuff? I'm about to go to Target and buy stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, we about to go to Starbucks too, y'all. Because first of all, I ain't had no Starbucks pumpkin spice. I ain't had Starbucks nothing in a long time. But listen. If I take my tail to damn Starbucks and they don't have no more pumpkin spice shit because they tried to hurry up and bring this Christmas shit on up in here. Listen. Now I'm telling y'all now. If they ain't got no pumpkin spice stuff, I'm going to show my ass. <laughs> I'm not.
Mm, I'm really trying to decide if I want a cake pop or not. I don't need a cake pop. You don't need a cake pop. You don't need a cake pop. But do I need some egg bites? I just ate. I'm a little hungry. I should have bought one of them damn pumpkin, um, pumpkin spice protein bars. Cause see, see, God damn. I do want a cake pop. I'm not gonna get a cake pop. I'm just, if they don't have my pumpkin spice, I'll get a cake pop to, you know, like a, a consolidation. What's the word? When you don't win the, um, you don't win, but you get a prize. Well, I want to say a prize. Of co I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's not, I don't know. I'm getting mad because I don't know. Anyway, they better have my pumpkin spice stuff. And here is the moment of truth. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. My name is Kennedy Richard. Britain. I was going to make a story for you. Do you guys still have pumpkin spice? Oh, okay. Thank you. Can I have a venti chai latte add pumpkin sauce? You said a venti chai add pumpkin? Yep. And is that hot or ice? Ice, sorry. Alright. That's it. This Thank you. They better have had my more pumpkin. When are they not going to have pumpkin no more? Oh, wait, where is the window? Oh, I'm like, did I just pull out the parking lot? Oh my God, this is a weird Starbucks. Oh, okay. I was like, did I just pull out the parking lot? Y'all, I got my pumpkin. So y'all know how I stocked up on the, uh, the Tazo? Cause I know this is coming to an end. I'm not ready for it to come to an end. But, uh, oh, consolidation. Well, I'm still trying to, consolation prize. Well, I'm still trying to think of that. Consolation prize? Yes. Anyway, it doesn't matter because they had what I needed. So it doesn't need to be no consolation prize. I'm getting my um, pumpkin spice added to my chai. I haven't even gotten a pumpkin uh, frappuccino this whole season. Because I don't really do like coffee at Starbucks anymore, no funny enough. Like I know frappuccino ain't really coffee, but you know, it's a lot of calories in it. That's probably why. But y'all know I start coming to Starbucks for matchas and uh, chai, iced chai tea lattes. So I haven't even had a pumpkin uh, frappuccino, which I'm not mad about it. That, that pumpkin in that uh, chai latte really is what I be trying to do. But yeah, I'm coming to the realization that the season is over for that. I'm gonna have to let it go. Which is why, um, I bought the doggone Tazo teas or the pumpkin spice lattes at Target. I need to get like two more. The only thing about those is when you open them, they say you're supposed to consume them within seven days and see, no, I want to open it and have it for a month. Cause I'm not going to drink this all in a week. I'm just, I don't want to do that. So anyway, I'm, at this point, I'm just sitting here waiting for my Starbucks order, but I'm going to ask her when we get up there, like, excuse me. How long y'all plan on having pumpkin spice stuff? And she gonna be like, oh, we really don't know until we run out. I'm telling y'all now, that's what she gonna do. I know that's what she gonna do. Hey, do you know how long you guys are gonna have the pumpkin stuff? Um, I know the season hasn't ended yet, but I know the season ends, we'll run it until we're out of the pumpkin sauce. When does it end, do you know? I don't know yet. They haven't given the release date and our updates yet. Oh. So I'm pretty sure that it lasts like mid-September at least. But I'm not sure. I'd have to fact check with uh, You mean November? Oh no, December, sorry. <laughs> oh really? I was I was thinking this was the last no, month. No, no. I think so I think it goes through this month okay. and then it ends like we stop getting it in December. Okay. But it'll like most stretch out a little bit after December. So. I'm totally fine with that. I was just like all this Christmas stuff we haven't got through Thanksgiving. Yeah. Fine yeah, with that. Yeah, yeah. September. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not doing well with my dates today. Oh no, you're I'm fine. Sorry. Thank you. Oh wait, I'm good. I'm good, huh? I'm good. Yes. I'm good. Okay. Thank you guys. Okay, guys. So y'all heard that? We got. She said usually because the other place I went to, they told me they didn't know that it was like till we stopped getting it. But homegirl just told me. 
she said that um the season they, they she said they're gonna like so the season should last until at least mid-december and then if they have some left whatever they have you know they're gonna keep selling it but i'm good with that i am good with that because about time it do get into december i'm probably gonna be pumpkined out and it is christmas but it just ain't christmas right now that's what i was saying it ain't christmas now so i was even good with the rest of the month i get all my little pumpkin glory out but i was saying like it's not are we still in the first week of november i don't even know right now it doesn't matter i was like i need at least till the rest of november okay but if you talking about we're gonna have pumpkin stuff till mid-december i'm real good with that good on that great on that y'all heard my damn wipers i'm gonna give me a damn oil change because i need one let me take a sip of what is heaven Mm. Well, y'all, I'm a mess. Real shit, I might have just lied. I need this forever. I want this forever. Why is this so good? Every time I have it, it's like the first time. It just does not get old. It's so good. Okay, y'all, I have adulted and I am tired. I don't know what it is, but like I'm telling y'all, around three, four o'clock, five o'clock every day, it's it for me. Like, I get up, what time I woke up this morning? I woke up at like seven something. Now, I don't get out of bed at seven, but I'm awake, conscious at seven. So like by five, I am done. So I did eat one of the Built Bars, the pumpkin spice, look at that. It's pumpkin spice and um, white chocolate on the outside. Mm, it's okay. It is a protein bar, so I wasn't expecting the utmost. Should I have ordered them? Probably not. Anyway. I gotta show y'all everything I got from Target. So that was a Target day. Starting with, um, I'm about to eat this now. I'm having a thing for truffles. So this is the Good and Gather Mushroom and Truffle Flavor Oil Pizza. Like I bought some truffle cheese from Trader Joe's. I'm pretty sure I showed y'all. Cause I got two of them cause they was like a seasonal thing. I know y'all can hear Yay ripping and running like a mad person. Anyway, y'all. Fun fact, TikTok be putting me on all the Target finds, so now I gotta put y'all on. So I don't, I'm not a Lululemon shopper like that. Like this jacket is Lululemon, but it was sponsored. I love this jacket, it's the Align jacket, I think. But they have something else that a girl was talking about. This, this is like a Lululemon dupe, but this one is ribbed, and she said it looks better because it's ribbed. And the one that Lululemon has isn't tapered at the waist, and this one is. So I'm gonna show you guys what it on. It is beautiful. This is a size large. Um, the extra large just wasn't that flattering on me. And this is a large two, like the cream one. Of course, it will be tagged in the description box. Um, Y'all, remember when we bought those Target sweatpants that was like flare? And like TikTok was talking about that. I tried them on again, but I sized up. And they weren't, they were like high waters last time. They weren't high waters. They did fit, but since they were a 2X instead of my, what I would usually get an extra large, they weren't very flattering on me, so I just said to hell with it. But I did get the little crop gray hoodie or sweatshirt with it. And then another Target thing. These doggone Spanx leggings, everybody was hollering about them. Now, I did have to get the Ponte ones, which is like basically has a line through the leg. Um, the high-waisted ones are super, super high-waisted, which, you know, it's cool, but it's not even what I wanted anyway. So these are actually a size large because the sizing chart on the edge of it says a large is what I need, like looking at the waist size. So I'm gonna try those on actually with the little, um, the gray sweatshirt crop. And then I did get my uh, Target holiday cup. Um, I had to go to two different Targets for this because they had the pink one, but I wanted the gold one. This is my first Starbucks holiday cup. It's my first Starbucks cup in general. They got dog on $30. Now, I don't want to ruin this, so it does. I was looking for it. Can I put this in the dishwasher? No. Do not be lazy. It do say hand wash only. But now I got me a little cute tumbler. Not that I needed one, but she's pretty. I might put her on the bar cart because it's gold and gold, gold, gold. You know. Anyway, let me show y'all the Target clothes. So I'm going to put the leggings on and then try on the sweatshirt and then these little jackets. They're actually full jackets. They're full zip. Uh, how about that um, little Spanx legging thing was over before it even started? I couldn't even get those above my legs. Like, they lied. That size and chart lied. That size and chart lied. I think the way I couldn't even get that large on, I probably need to size up to a 2X. But they don't let you try on 
the package stuff. So, I don't know. I might just leave those where those is at. Anyway, this is a little gray crop. I mean, it's really nothing. Like it's literally a gray crop. I think it's really cute, though. Um, something to throw on. You know, the weather is getting cold. I like it being cropped anyway, and then it's a sweater. It's really flattering. I got on some bad shit like this. I don't even know why I waste my time with you other people when bash fit is what it what? What? Speaking of, I gotta get those um, sweatpants out of the car. Well, the sweat the sweatpants and the sweatshirts. Um, and start getting ready for my drop tomorrow. That's actually what I'm about to do for the rest of the day. Is pack some orders and get ready for this drop. Tomorrow is the day. So anyway. Love to see this bash bash fit like this really do be chef's kiss if I say so myself. Look at these ladies. Waist cinching. Okay, right, anyway. So these are the uh Lululemon supposed to be like dupe jackets. I like them. Were they $25? Um they were $30. Whoop. But yeah, I thought they were really cute and they're fleece like. They are cute. So is it this is a large. Um, depending on how you want it to fit. Like I said, the extra large wasn't as flattering to me as the large. And I didn't really care for the colors they had. They had a black one, but I was like, I need black. Then they had like this muted green, like a muted purple and a muted blue. But I got this cream one and then this orange one, as you can see, it's kind of muted too. It has the little um thing that your fingers go through. I think this is so cute. What y'all think? And so, like they were saying, like the Lululemon one isn't cinched at the waist, so it's cropped, but it's like boxed up. But this is, oh, this is cute. I think this is super cute. Super duper cute. Look at the, uh, what y'all think? Um, I like it a lot. Kind of want the black one, but the black one wasn't a black black. I don't know. All these colors were kind of like soft. I really like it. I have no idea what the little living one is like, but old girl had it on and they were about the same and she did kind of say that this one was cuter because it's ribbed and stuff. And I mean, I'm sure it's way cheaper than the little lemon one because little lemon ain't got nothing for $30. I doubt it. <laughs> I don't know personally, but yeah, probably that little belt bag. That's about it. That's how you gonna get about a Lulu. In the mirror what it looks like, ignore the tags here. It is a full zip, so. Do with that as you may. I don't think this is super cute though. And if you don't zip it up, you know, what do you guys think? What you think? What you think? What you thinking? Link it in below. I'm going to link it. <laughs> um, yeah, I like this a lot. You know, I'm an athlete, your girl. So let me put the orange one on. This is the orange one. I feel like the tags are taken from it. This is the orange one. I don't have an orange jacket. Yes, I do. I lied. I had an orange bash fit jacket of all things. Oh my god. But it don't look nothing like this. Y'all know it's like it goes down and it's not fleecy. It's more of an activewear jacket. Like this is fleece. You're not gonna want to sweat in this because it's gonna be wet. This is definitely more athleisure vibe. This is cute. Oh, I like it when it's zipped down, but it's not, you know, like it's zipped all the way down, but she's still cinching at the waist. Oh, this is cute. Oh, baby, hold on. Whoa. Ooh, ooh, me hard to shake that shoulder out. Oh my God, it's not working. Oh, it worked. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. I would not wear it like this, I'm not gonna lie. I, that feels weird to me. <laughs> I would wear it like this though, especially if I had on like a cute top and it was matching like the outfit. We had some going on with some shoes or something. I really like this. You see what it look like with the hood up. Oh, we love a good hood moment. Especially when you bald. Cause my back of my head be cold, y'all. Like that back of the head be cold. This is so cute. She's cute. Love it. Y'all, this pizza is so good. And it's so thin. Like, can y'all see how thin it is? That I slick burned it. Cause it's thin as hell. I mean, that's good. We don't need the bread. It's really good though. I would definitely repurchase. Oh my God. It's so thin. The toppings are sliding on. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So again, I know y'all want the deets, right? <laughs> it's the good and gather. 
thin crust mushroom and truffle flavor oil pizza. Look like this. When it say on the back, it say ultra thin and crispy. It is really thin. It says that it's made with mozzarella. Fun, mozzarella. Sorry, y'all. Do I have degrees for real or no? <laughs> mozzarella, fontina, asiago, parmesan, and romano cheeses, criminal mushrooms, white mushrooms, truffle flavor oil, and topped with onion and rosemary on a crispy ultra thin crust. Chef's kiss. Target don't miss. Y'all, I was sitting down at my desk ready to work. And then I had to be black because it is cop cars outside and yellow tape. What the freak done happened at the apartments next door? Y'all, can y'all see this? The news people is out here. So I guess we'll find out what happened. What the hell, bro? The apartment's next door always got something going on. Can y'all see the yellow tape? The street blocked off. They're gonna have to turn around. Oh, this is ghetto. It's always the apartment's next door. Now, guess what? I'm gonna get on ATL Scoop and bet I find out what happened. One thing about the apartment with floor to ceiling windows, y'all. When the sun is gone, it's dark as hell in here. So I told y'all I was gonna get online or I was gonna get on ATL Scoop. If you're from Atlanta, live in Atlanta, if you know, you know. I was gonna get ATL Scoop and find out what happened. See, it's so pretty behind me, ain't it? But girl, ain't no light coming from there. It was a shooting next door. At the apartments next door, y'all. It's It's been, since I've lived here, it's been multiple shootings. And I only know because when something happened over there, cause like the apartment I live in is all the same company. So when something happened over there, our apartment emailed us and be like, yeah, you might have heard of XYZ. And then it'd be on ATL Scoop, which is like Atlanta's little social media page when shit be happening in the city, basically. How I explain it, right? So, since I've lived here, it's been like at least two shootings over there. Car breakings. It's always this apartment next to me. Swear to God, it's a whole nother apartment uh, across the street that's not my apartment or that apartment. That's it. So, it's three different apartment communities over here. And it's always that one. Why? What you think that mean? So that's the newest one out of all three. That was the newest one. It's not new, but it's newer than the one I live in and that one too. And that be the turn up crew over there. And y'all be wanting to be seen. Because everybody was like, well, not everybody. But this guy in my Jeep group who is like actually um, a leasing manager for the company in the building I live in. Like not this one, but the company. And he was like, why didn't you move to that one? Like, you know, that's the newer one. Yeah, that's the newer one. Everybody's always some stuff over there. Like, I like to stay out the mix. Y'all know I left my last apartment slick because I didn't want to be in a mix. And it was a brand new building when I moved in. And it was all these young people living there and flashy cars and they throwing parties at the pool. I do not like being in the mix, baby. No, give me the apartment where it might be older and the old people live there and it ain't got no fly pool, ain't no party scene. I'm good because look, now, nah. so anyway, I'm trying to work and I was going to try to like film or do a little cute montage, but hmm, apparently we're not because we ain't got no light because now... The dog on sun goes away at but before six o'clock. It's five forty six. Cause I was gonna make a little montage, but we ain't gonna light. The light in here is um I do have a ring light that's not plugged up. I could turn my ring light on if I wanted to. Do I want to? No, y'all ain't getting no montage because we don't care. The aesthetics is over. <laughs> What what it really is, y'all, is that it's six o'clock, and I already told y'all like at a certain time I don't care no more, um, and that's where I done got. So like I'm only about to process these orders because I need to do a drop tomorrow, and I don't like orders bag up. And technically, it's time to process these orders because it's been long enough, y'all. I'm just not. I'm good for a couple of hours of the day. You know, it's twenty four hours in a day. Um, we gonna say that we sleep ten of them. We don't, but let's just say we do. So then it's oh, you know, I'm bad at math. Then there's 14 hours left. What the hell? How many hours do I be awake? Like, wait. Okay, this is for real now. How many hours do I be awake in a day? Oh, it's 24 hours in a day. I don't sleep 10 hours. I go to sleep. I'm asleep by 11.30. Like, I'm in the bed before the end. We're not going to talk about it. But I am sleep by 11.30 and up at like 7.30. So that's 12, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 30. So eight hours. That's good. That's perfect. That's what you should do, right? 
So, look, this is crazy. Why I'm really trying to figure this out. What is 24 minus 8? See, I be having 16 hours in my day. What I be doing? Okay, so I'm productive from, I'm going to say, 9 a.m. Like 9 to 5. That's 8 hours. So then what do I be doing? What the hell I be doing for the other 8 hours of the day? It really make you think. I don't be laying in the bed for eight. I'm trying to figure out where the hell these eight hours is going. Wow. So for instance, I got out the bed. I got I did a little I got it was a little early today. I was actually out the bed by eight something today while I dog all day. I was at the gym by nine. I left the gym. So let's say at eight o'clock. It is five. We're gonna say six o'clock. So eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six. Y'all, why am I so bad at math? Hold on, what? <laughs> 10 hours. Okay, yeah, it's been 10 hours. I've been up and doing stuff for 10 hours. That might be why I feel like this. Because I don't feel like nothing. Like, I'm not just like, bro, I'm tired. But I'm ready to, like, lay down and relax. So I'm not tripping. I really do be busy. I've been out. Whatever the hell I've been doing, I've been doing. But not even, like, stream with stuff. So I went to the gym, you know. Other than that, I've been driving. I got all changed. I went to Target multiple times <laughs> uh, it just seems like I don't know it's not adding up y'all what is going on let me so anyway but I'm still up so okay yeah we on the 10 hours I'm gonna pack some orders it's gonna be 11 hours so I'm really trying to see this this is crazy so I'm gonna say 11 hours I was up doing stuff and then I sleep for 8 so 11 plus 8 is 19 okay so 24 minus 19, we got five hours on the company for on the company for. And I still don't be bullshit for I'm about to go because this is irritating me. Trapping like the narco, narco got dope like Pablo. Pablo cut dope like Pablo. Cut dope, chop trees with the Draco. Draco trap trapping like the narco. Cold gang with the cocaine. Cold. The more money make more rain. rain. Pouring up a paint while I'm back in propane. Hey. Point blank range, give a nigga nose rain. Hey. I'm a key in the tunnel, fly high like a sauna. Busting off a number tunnel, we put at the car. Spitting in the water, trying to skip across the water. Got sea guards out, got me out for a run. I was hit to my loo with the pack and the cat. Can't chip it. Loo with the bridge, where they at? Where they tripping? Ooh, the paddock all wet. Birds in the truck, they ain't leaving at the nest. Back of money, know I gotta have it. Savage. Put on till the chill, I'm in the cabin. Got that. Oh, 